Okay, so a lot of you have been watching my Pokemon videos. And maybe you want to make a website about that game or whatever. And this video will teach you how. So open up Notepad. And you have to have word wrap on. So that way you could write and then it'll enter for you on its own. Or else you'll just keep writing. And it'll, it won't enter at all. And if you want to press enter on your own, then you don't have to turn on word wrap. But that's in format. And so, and if you didn't watch my Pokemon videos... Uh, and you want to make a game, then you can watch them. That's a good idea, because then you'll know how. And this is a very basic tutorial on how to use HTML to make a website. So, uh, yeah, it's really easy. So, first thing, you're going to want to make it your own file f for it. So, make a file called Websites under your documents. And so, and then after you save that file, you can click on it and it'll open up your websites folder which has nothing in it right now because I didn't put anything in it yet so um yeah really easy step right there now HTML codes you're gonna need uh, if I save this now uh, alright uh, I'll find my websites and I'll name this uh, how to make a website so, uh, you write how to make a website. Uh, dot HTML. And that's what makes it a website file. And then you click save. And it'll save your file. You go on the internet. And it'll open up very slow because I have too much crap on my computer. And now this is my website. I already went there. And, uh, really easy junk. So you got all that HTML crap. And if you want, you could go down to uh, your file. And here you'll see it has the E next to it. You could click on that. Oh, yeah, and see how it says HTML. It's very important that you make it an HTML document. Or else this won't work. So that little arrow, that way, to the left, that equals the start of your code. So... You need to put that whenever you start code. And the arrow pointing right equals the end of your code. And then an arrow pointing left with a slash at the beginning equals the end of that section. So uh, I'll go into more depth here and I'll teach it to you better. Okay, so HTML, you do the little left arrow, HTML, end arrow. And you need that for every internet document. And now we'll click enter. Uh, twice, and then do HTML, the, the slash one with HTML in it, like that. And uh, now that's our website. And now if I were to put hi in there, and then put yo after the HTML document, then when I go on the internet, it, the yo shouldn't show up on my website. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. Here's what I did. Uh, I put in the body. The body's what does it. You have to put in the body with the end body and everything. That body is what appears on your website. HTML just tells it that it's a website. And you need these codes or else it won't show up on the web page correctly. And so now I'm going to teach you how to make your heading. And so I uh, will click the left arrow. Oh, if I hit high like that and then hit high again, uh, enter high, then it'll just say high, high. What I have to do is I have to put the little arrow P and another arrow to it or so that way it fixes it and then if I hit that then it starts a new paragraph that's just how you make new paragraphs and stuff really simple so now I'll, te now I'll teach you how to make the heading first this time and uh so if I go up to above the body right there and I click the little left arrow head end arrow and then enter again and then the left arrow slash head end arrow and then I write inside it uh, how to make a website this will be the heading at the top of the web page. Um, if I hit Control S, which is what I'm hitting, it speeds up your save time faster than clicking the actual save button. So if I go here and then refresh, there, it's right there. And you have to click refresh before your changes are made, by the way. So don't sit there and expect them to magically change themselves. So you have to hit refresh. And you have to save it before you hit refresh or it won't work. Okay. And now, So now I'm going to show you how to make the title. And if I hit title, write title in that box, and then go enter, enter, and then hit the in title box. And then write how to make a website here. 
and then I go back and refresh. See, that changes what you see on the tab right there. So if you want to change that, use the title. If you don't want to change it, then just leave it. Okay, so now go to back to your website, and uh, we'll go to body and write a paragraph. This website will teach you how to make a website, basically. This video will teach you how to make a website. And then enter, and then I'll put the little P, and then put I8 line. Now, some people think that you have to put the N thing on the P uh, for your new paragraph. I don't, and it doesn't affect anything. So if you want to just make things go faster, then don't do that. Okay, so now I can change the sizes of the words that I put in. So if I put in this little... And you have to put the P before the heading, before the, each paragraph, or else it'll get stuck with the heading. So now I can change the sizes of my words and stuff by going to the beginning of it and writing. For this one, I'll write H1, and then you have to end it. This one, you do have to put the little ending code with the slash in it. And the ending code is exactly the same as the beginning code, just with the slash in it. And this one, I'll do H2. Yeah, H2. And then I'll do H2 on this one and end it. And then I'll go to the next one and do H3 and end it. And then I'll hit Control S. And then I'll go to my website and refresh and see how those got bigger and slowly get smaller because I did. H1 is the biggest, H2, H3, H4, H5. H5 is as small as you can go. Um, and now here I'll go to BG for background and then color equals. And then quotation mark, uh, we'll do blue and in quotation mark. And you have to have those quotation marks or it won't work. And see now the background of my website is blue. And uh, pretty simple. You can see all my words and everything, background blue. Uh, and now... If I want to change the color of the font, I go to font face, wait, font face equals, and you can change the font in here too, so we'll do equals times new Roman, and I got to make sure I have those quotations, times new Roman, and then I can do color equals white, let's do white, and then in quotation, and then put the little arrow thing, and now... Control S, refresh. Wait, hold on. You gotta put the little end arrow on the beginning of the body, and then the beginning arrow at the font, and then enter, and then Control S. And now everything below that will be w below where you put that font face it will be white and that font and everything. So you see how the heading isn't. If I were to put the font face thing above the heading, then it would be white too. Now if I go here and change title to t-i-t-e-l it'll mess everything up you got to make sure you got all your codes spelled correctly and everything or else your coding will be all jacked up so see if i hit control s refresh it'll change that and put the what i have written on the website so if i go through review all of my website and find the part where i screwed up on refresh it'll be back to normal so you got to troubleshoot sometimes and that's why you want to have Internet Explorer open or Firefox or your browser, whatever you use, and make sure you're fixing everything. And uh, there is no spell check, so you want to go through and make sure you spelled everything right, proofread it a lot, and uh, so that way you don't look like you're a retard and the website isn't written by a four-year-old. So you want to proofread everything, and then you're done with your website for now. That's all I'm going to teach you about.